when you make certain mistakes in your life and, God, and you say, God, give me a second chance, what are you asking God a second chance for? Right. Have you learned from the thing that went wrong in the first place? Right. Yeah. So let me move on. So, so, so now, so Cain is angry. I'm in verse 5. And his countenance is fallen. He's, he's manifesting. And at this point, he's not even looking at Abel the same way. Yeah. Now, Abel didn't have nothing to do with you and your arm. What you mad at me for? <laughs> you know, I didn't tell God to not take your stuff. I had nothing to do. Matter of fact, I'm too busy trying to wash his blood and cinch and stuff and clean up all this mess. I got gnats and flies everywhere. I don't really have time to figure out why you mad. I mean, you know, when you're so busy about what you're supposed to be doing, you're not going to take time trying to figure out what's wrong with somebody else. But look, I don't have time. Get yourself together. Go pray, whatever. I, I got to, you know, I, listen, I, I can't be distracted because I got to clean this stuff up. The Lord says to Cain, and now here the parentheses between five and six tells you this, that Cain didn't even go to God on it. He held that anger. He held that animosity. He held it to the, to the point that God had to come to him. Did y'all hear what I just said? Yeah. Yeah. We know we got stuff. Yeah. And we'll hold it. Yeah. And they get mad when somebody calls us on it. Right. They're talking about me. Well, let me tell you why. Because God was trying to talk to you about it. Right. And you missed. You didn't get the phone call. You didn't get the email. You didn't get the inbox. You didn't get the tweet. You didn't get the Instagram. You missed it. So God had to send somebody else. So the Lord says to Cain now, why are you angry? And why is your counting? Do, do, do you see what happened? The Lord began to describe every manifestation that Cain was operating in. The Bible said Cain was raw and his countenance fell. Here comes God. Why are you raw and your countenance fell? God knows your demons by name. Brother, you want to acknowledge him or not, baby. He knows. So he says, why are you angry? And why has your countenance fallen? And he says to him, and then God, this is the merciful nature of God. God gives the man counsel. He said, if you do well, in other words, I'm going to, to me, that sounds like you got another chance. He didn't say if you did well, if you do well. That lets me know you messed up, Cain, but God is giving you another chance. You got another chance to do it over. And so God is coming in now trying to work with Cain and try to counsel him and, and, and try to, you know, reason with him and say, hey, you messed up. But if you do well, I'll accept you. Yeah, you right. I'll give you another opportunity to do it again. Since you know now what I like, yeah. Yeah. you have an opportunity to give me what I want. If you do well, shall you not be accepted? But if you don't, sin lies at the door. Now, and I taught this a while back, that sin, the, 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 the uh, Hebrew of it gives you the connotation of a tiger. And this, was, this message came out of a dream I had a few weeks ago. But the tiger, sin was like a tiger waiting at the door of Cain's heart. That's how sin works, okay? And, and being angry is not a sin. You can be angry. Jesus was angry. That's not the wrong with being angry. It's a natural emotion. Somebody slaps you, you should get mad. If you don't, you need to go back there because you got something wrong with you. Okay? You want to get angry. So there's nothing wrong with being angry. The Bible says be angry and sin not. But, but when you allow your anger, the Bible says don't let the sun go down in your wrath. Yeah. And it don't mean get it right before you go to sleep. What it just means is don't let that thing take root in your heart. Yeah. Okay? And that's what God was trying to tell Cain. Hey, listen. If you continue to allow the spirit of anger to rest in your spirit, it's going to consume you. There's a tiger. There's a crouching tiger at the door of your heart. And if you continue with this anger, sin is going to open the door. And that tiger is going to come in. And he says your desire is going to be to it. In other words, you will have no more control over your emotions. Oh you won't say, well, let me get it together. You won't be able to get it together because anger now has taken you over. Anger has fully possessed you. 